y'all. Happy December 1st. So as promised, today is the first day of my 25 day countdown to Christmas mini series I'm going to be doing this month. So we're going to kick things off with a really cool wreath tutorial and it's going to use a lot of the same ideas as from a previous tutorial that I did. So this video is going to be another way to make a pine cone wreath except this is going to be a very wintry version. So if you remember from my last video, which I'll put a link up for if you haven't seen that, basically we painted the tips of some pine cones. So obviously you'll need pine cones for this tutorial and paint, but there's a few ways that we're going to take the painting pine cones idea and make it very wintry. So first of all, we're going to paint our pine cones with white tips. And I don't need to walk through that, you can go watch my old video for that. But I am going to show you how to add glitter to them. So I'm doing the glitter outside because as we all know, if you've done anything with glitter ever in your life, you know that it gets everywhere and it's crazy hard to clean up. So we're doing the glitter outside and then I'll show you another step later on to help preserve the glitter instead of it coming off and everything. But I've got my little pack of glitter here and I cut just a small hole here. And I've also got a plate so that whatever falls off, I can catch it to use on other ones. And I've already glittered some of these ones here, but pretty simple. I'm just going to, whoop, a little heavy there. Tap it around, twirl this around. You'll notice I'm doing it over these other ones that are drying, so that way any of the fall off can stick on those. And then of course I've got the plate underneath instead of just doing it direct on the grass, so that way I can catch whatever falls. The top is really where you want the glitter to be, because that's what you're going to see the most. And I'll just shake it off on the other ones and set it here to dry. You'll also notice I'm getting tons of paint in on my hand, so I'm going to first brush the glitter off. But the nice thing, because I'm using acrylic paint, is it comes off really easy. You can either just rub it or with a little bit of water, you can rub and it'll just come right off. Really easy cleanup. So that's really nice about this. And because we're doing the glitter outside, we're also helping cut down on some of the cleanup there. So the next step I'm going to do to help the glitter stay on and so the glitter doesn't make quite as big a mess and come off other places is I'm going to just use a nice little coating of Mod Podge. Now with my Mod Podge, I would either pour some onto a spot so that way as you keep working on this, it doesn't, your brush doesn't send Mod Podge back into your container. So I've got a little bit on the piece from in the lid there that I'm just grabbing off of and I'll wipe that off before I put it back on the container so I don't end up with glitter in my Mod Podge. But really simple, I'm going to repeat the same process, but the key here is to go really lightly because if I don't go really lightly, it will dry a little bit white, which that's what's nice about this is because we are using white, that white paint. If my podge does dry white, it's not a big deal, just it might mean it might cover up some of the sparkle a little bit. So that's why I'm just going really lightly, just enough to help hold the glitter down. And again, this step isn't a must, but it's going to create a nicer, glossier look to it because I'm using a gloss clear finish uh, Mod Podge, but then also it will help prevent glitter from ending up everywhere because we all know what a pain glitter can be. So it's trying to eliminate some of the nuisance that it can be so that way your pine cones can still be sparkly. So I'm just going to keep repeating that process with them, let them dry. I'm going to try to make sure they're not touching each other because Mod Podge is a little bit stickier than the paint is when you do this, but that's really all there is to it to make your pine cone sparkle. So now they have glitter on them, which is awesome. The next thing we want to do is prepare our frame. And so I chose to wrap my frame in green yarn and I've already glued the white glittery pine cones on here. So I'll show you what I've got so far. Super cute, looks really nice and wintry. It's hard to tell on the camera, but it does have a lot of sparkle from the glitter. So it just has a nice little extra festive touch. But we're going to do one more step that's going to also help this kind of have a wintry vibe, just make it really pop. And we're going to add some red flowers on here. And they're going to be pine cone flowers. So let me show you the quick walkthrough. I'm just going to make three flowers to go on here. And as I did with my previous pine cone wreath, I'm just going to hot glue them on here. So to start, you want to pick some pine cones that have a nice full base at the bottom. So this one here is a nice full pine cone. I will also need some trimmers. And this makes it go a lot faster because if you try to snap it in half yourself, you're just going to crumble the whole thing. So really all you need to do is decide where you want to cut it. You want to cut just towards the base here. And so I'm just going to pinch these ones that are above where I want to cut. Just kind of pinch them out of my way. Some of the pieces might fall off. That's okay. Just get them out of my way. And then come in right here with my clippers. I'm going to hold it here so pieces don't shoot. And I'm just going to cut right through there. 
And now you'll be left with a piece that looks about like this. So this is going to be our flower. And I've gone ahead and I've cut a couple of these. Here's another one. And as I said, I'm gonna do three. So just cut them with your clippers like that. And then I have this nice apple barrel red color here. I'll put a link for that below. But I'm just going to paint my pine cones. And instead of painting just the tips, I'm going to paint this top surface here of my pine cone. So here's a look at the first one I've painted. You can see how by painting it this way, it starts to look like a flower, really pretty. You can also either paint the inside the same color as the petals. You can do it in a different color. I'm just going to leave mine plain just so it has that kind of natural look to it. So I'm just gonna finish painting the rest of my pine cone flowers and then I will glue them onto my wreath and show you the finished look. And here's the finished look. I really love this because the pine cones that have the white on them look like they've just been snowed on, and then the red ones kind of have a poinsettia look, so it looks super festive. And I really like the way that incorporates a lot of nature in this project. So I always like to kind of those earthy tones and just those natural kind of vibes to crafts. But anyways, that's what I've got for today's project. I hope you guys come back tomorrow for some more projects. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any in the series. And have fun making your festive pine cone wreath. Happy crafting. So if you don't want to make a wreath, you could also make this like really epic picture frame out of this. I mean like you can put all your loved ones in a picture frame surrounded by pine cones. I mean it's, I can't think of anything better to use this for if you don't want to use it for an actual wreath. You know, It's a really great multi-purpose project.